Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to install Ubuntu, Linux, Mint or Chromium OS side by side with Windows. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Linux is a popular and easy-to-install open-source operating system. Its strong points include a wide range of supported hardware and software, flexible settings and good security. Many users get to know Linux when they start using popular distributions like Ubuntu or Linux Mint. If your computer already has a Windows operating system installed, I'll show you how to add Linux as a second operating system with the help of the Dual Boot feature. Before you begin the installation, you need to download an image of the operating system and use it to create a bootable drive. You can download the latest distribution from the official website. The next step is to create a bootable USB drive containing an operating system image. This can be done easily with the help of Ultra, ISO, Rufus and other similar tools. Check one of our videos for a detailed tutorial on creating bootable drives. Follow the link in the description. For installation, I have chosen Ubuntu 18.04, but the steps to take are just the same for other versions of Linux. Connect a USB drive to the computer and then restart. To select booting from a USB drive in BIOS, press a function key when the computer starts booting. Usually it's F12, F10 or F2, depending on the motherboard model. Select the bootable drive from the list and hit Enter. After that, you will see the Grub Boot menu on the screen. To add an operating system, select the second option – Install Ubuntu. Also, you can choose the first option – Try Ubuntu without installing and have a quick look at this operating system. At the next stage of installation, you'll be suggested to choose your language from the list. Do it and click Continue. Select Normal installation here and click Continue again. In the next window, choose the installation type. The option Install Ubuntu alongside Windows lets you compress the existing partition and free some space for the new operating system. You should allocate at least 20 GB to install Ubuntu. When space is allocated, click Install now. The second option will erase the operating system currently existing on the disk and install a new one, so be careful with it. If you have several disks or partitions, check the option Something else to create and select a different partition. To create a new partition, select the option Free space and click on the plus icon. Specify its size, preferably at least 20 GB. Set the partition type as primary, location at the beginning, select the file system and the mount point then click OK. Then click Install now to apply the changes and start the installation process. Set location, administrator's account name, password, and click Continue. Now that you are finished with the settings required to install Ubuntu, wait until it is complete. When it's over, click Restart now. The computer will restart to the Grub menu, and you'll have 10 seconds to choose what operating system you'd like to use now – Ubuntu or Windows. Ubuntu is selected as the default operating system to boot. Now you can either hit Enter or wait for the 10-second timeout to be over. After the operating system has booted, sign in with the name and password you create during the installation. Ubuntu supports the NTFS file system automatically, so you can access any files in Windows partitions without effort.
If you ever need to go back to Windows, just restart the computer and select this uh, operating system in the Grub menu. Installation of Chromium OS differs slightly from that of Ubuntu because of some peculiarities. To install Chromium OS, you'll need an 8 or 16 GB USB pen drive. Go to the Neverware website and download Cloud Ready USB Maker. It will help you to create a bootable drive with Chromium OS. Plug the USB pen drive into one of the computer's ports and run Cloud Ready USB Maker. Follow the directions to create the bootable drive and click Next. The entire process may take about 20 minutes. When the drive is created, connect the USB pen drive to the computer where you'd like to install Chromium OS and turn it on. To select booting from the USB device in BIOS, press a function key when the computer starts booting F12, F10 or F2, depending on the motherboard model. Select the bootable drive from the list and hit Enter. If you've chosen the right bootable device, you'll see a white startup screen with the Cloud Ready logo. It will change it to the welcome screen, where you need to choose the preferred language for your system and click Let's Go to begin the installation process. To get started, click on the clock field in the lower right corner of the screen and choose the option Install OS. In the next window, you'll be warned to back up all the data on your hard disk, because all the data on this storage device will be erased during the installation. If you already have another operating system installed on this hard disk or some important information, cancel the installation to avoid permanent data loss. At this stage, most users expect the operating system to suggest choosing a drive or partition for installation, but as soon as you agree, the actual installation process begins, and all the data gets overwritten, so be very careful, unless you want to lose some important files for good. A bit later, I'm going to show you how to choose a different disk for installation, but for now, let's boot the computer with the USB drive. To boot Chromium OS in this way, Click Next and Continue. Then enter the login and password to your Google account. And click Next, then hit Get Started. After that, the operating system will boot and the browser will open automatically. Now, let's find out how to install Chromium OS to a different disk, so as not to erase the Windows operating system already installed to your system drive. Do it by pressing the key shortcut Ctrl L F2 at any time after the operating system has booted to open the developer console. When the console opens, sign in with the username Kronos and press Enter. After that, type the command LSPLK, Enter. This command will list all disks currently connected to your computer and display their capacity. Use the capacity value to find the disk where the operating system should be installed and memorize its code. It could be SDA or SDB, depending on your system configuration. After you've found the disk code, type the following command, then the disk code, and then press Enter. This command will erase all contents of the disk, so make sure you have selected the right disk. The installation process may take from 15 minutes to 1 hour, depending on the configuration of your computer. After the installation is complete, you have to take a few steps to configure the system and enter your Google account data. Also, you'll be able to access the Linux activation feature in the Settings menu. You can open the settings by clicking on the clock in the lower right corner. In this menu, you can adjust volume and brightness, change keyboard layout and shut down the computer. If you click on the gear wheel icon, you can access more settings.
to enable your Linux, click on this button. The installation starts and it requires at least 7 GB of free space on the hard disk. When the installation is over, the terminal window appears. You can use it to install programs available for Linux. Chromium OS doesn't have its own App Store, but you can add more extensions from the Chrome Web Store. To ensure support for various audio formats, it's recommended to install multimedia components. Open the settings, jump to Media Plugins tab and add them to your system. To enable the plugins, the computer should restart. Next time you turn on the computer, Chromium OS will boot automatically without offering to choose which operating system you'd like to use. To use the computer with another operating system, press a function key when the computer starts booting. Usually it's F12, F10 or F2, depending on the hardware configuration. After that, select Ubuntu and only then you will be able to choose between booting to Linux or Windows. This is how the dual boot feature lets you use several operating systems on one computer. With this video tutorial, you'll be able to install other versions of Linux as well, because the installation process is similar for all of its distributions. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.